But welcome to What's Going On Live. And I got to tell you all, it is a beautiful feeling to be live, to be coming live. to you guys. So this is live. Now, like I said, my first week, I had my special guest. I had my brother, Joe Subo, in the building. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I'm not worthy. Cut it out. I'm not worthy. <laughs> You're working on some newer stuff. You got some stuff coming up. And I know you want to get that out there to the people. I hear the chat room, first of all, is crowded. Yeah, but and you are going to talk to power. them. They're, look, look. They're in the building. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's happening, man? Hey, hey, buddy. Wow, hey, 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 buddy. Hello. No, <laughs> that's a great looking TV. That's how we're going to get that out there. But after being there for two, three days, oh man, the best pizza I had in the world was really? in Afghanistan. So race pizza is definitely off the Oh day. man, that Afghanistan pizza <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> See, I'm getting into the music, right? <laughs> I love the opening. I want to say thanks, man. You know, I, I, we got some really great people here at FRP TV, and, you know, they, they make me look good. You know, I'm, I'm a very ugly guy. I just want to tell you that I'm just ugly. But if you look, they make me look okay. But that's beside the point. Let me just welcome everybody. Another episode of What's Going On live down at FRP live.tv if you're tuned in you already know that because you already logged on you're watching me live which i do each and every tuesday from 6 p.m to 7 p.m eastern standard time i'm big murph and you know sometimes they tell me i forget to tell you who i am so i'm telling you now but i got a special guest that's going to be here in a little while you know traffic is crazy out there today in new york city it's crazy the weather is bad traffic is bad so trying to get to the studio is worse and I'm waiting for my brother to be here, Shay, CEO of GHB, Go Hard Boys, is going to be in the building. We're going to be talking about a lot of things. You know, I, I, I got to tell you that, you know, like last week, I had my brother, Chet was in the house, right? So we was talking about bike life and the whole, you know, misconception of bike life and how people just take maybe a couple of renegades and, and use that to define what bike life really is. So last week, I had Chet on. This week, I'm going to have my brother Shay is going to be on here from GHB, like I said, and he's going to talk in more detail about what GHB is, you know, how we as a group have, you know, went out and done things in our community. And I say we as a group because they've accepted me as a brother. And I remember not too long ago, we went out and we served um, food to the homeless or to the less fortunate. Um, and it was, it was a beautiful experience. They did that again for Thanksgiving this past weekend, or when was Thanksgiving last week, right? So last week they did it again. I didn't get a chance to go out because I, was, I wasn't feeling good, and then I had a whole lot of family up. So I was trying to get my feeling good together and cook together. So I kind of had like a, a multitask going on, so I couldn't really get out there. But he's going to come today, and we're going to talk about that whole experience and give you an idea of what it is that he do. But I got to say this, that we have a chat room. And I know you know that because if you're here each and every week, you know we have a chat room. Now, the chat room is live. And what I mean by live is that you can be in the chat room and you can ask a question. You'll ask the question to either myself or my guests each and every week, whoever it is. So get your questions together. I'm going to tell you if you're logged on now and you're waiting for my brother Shay to be here from GHB, then get your questions together because we're going to be asking questions or you're going to be asking us questions and we'll be asking them live on the air. So be careful what you ask. You just might get the right answer. May not be the answer you want, but it'll be the right answer. Anyway, I want y'all to sit back and relax. I got so much going on today, and I want to sit back and let you see that. We have, um, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, um, it was, well, you'll see it when I show it to you. I just want to tell you all that. But anyway, thanks to the staff here at FRP. And, you know, I love you guys, man. They, they're the crack staff. And when I say crack staff, I don't mean a, crack, a staff on crack. I mean a crack staff that goes into the archives and pull out stuff then maybe we just maybe throw our guests under the bus. No, we don't do that. But we find stuff that they forgot about, maybe don't remember that was up there, or things that they do remember but didn't think we was going to pull up. So I want to say thanks to the staff here at FRP, and I want to tell you guys, sit back, relax. I'm going to go to a video, and I want to come back. If Shay is in the building, he'll be sitting next to me when we come back. If not, I'm going to keep talking to you, bring you some more stuff, and we're going to get into it when Shay gets here. Like I said, the traffic is crazy. The weather is crazy. How many of you out there have been out in that weather and find yourselves getting late to wherever you had to be? Is that you? Because that was me today, too. I was kind of 
running behind on the schedule too. So if, if, if they're ready out there, we're going to go to a video and we're going to come back. I'm going to talk some more and I'm going to hope that Shay is in the building when we return. What's going on? FRPlive.tv. If you're in the chat room, like I said, get your questions ready. We're going to be asking them or answering them live right here. All right? Be right back. We are back. Now, that was Fetty Wap. And let me tell you something. I told y'all we was going to, you know, go to a video. I was going to come back because when we first got here, I told y'all, I said, the traffic is crazy. It's raining out there. It's terrible. My guest, my brother, Shay, is in the building. I told y'all, see, I keep, I keep my promise. I always keep promise. I say, when I come back, I'm going to have my guest here. And guess what? We're back. And guess who's here? My guest, Shay, is in the building, baby. What's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. It's good to have you here, man. 
traffic is crazy. I know, I know. I'm like, New York City is on lockdown with this the water, man. It's is crazy right really? now, but I had to get here for you. Yeah, of course, man. I appreciate that. Yep. I appreciate that. But, um, you know, let, let's get right into it because, you know, again, we talk about the culture of, of bike life. Right. The bike life culture and, and the misconception people have because of a few people that just take it upon themselves to just do what they want, mm -hmm. you know, and not really get the OGs to tell them and, or listen to the OGs who are out there and have been through the process. And because they've been through the process for 25, 30 years, right. you know, this should give them that, that generalship where young brothers who come up can listen and learn from. So talk about it real quick and, and, and GHB and how that came about. And, and, and just give them the whole spiel, man. I mean, I don't know. Like, basically, I mean, the, the subculture, what you see, it's a subculture. Right. So, you know, the dirt bike riding you, you see on the streets, that's probably, like, almost 40 years plus. Right. right. Probably almost 40 years okay. plus. And um, it's kind of cool to see where it's going right now. Right. But then it's getting a little bit out of control. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, it's a subculture. Right. It's just like breakdancing and stuff right. like that, how that just blew up into right. something else. But, um... You know, it, it is getting a little bit out of control, right. and then it's the rebel status and right. all that. You know, my, my biggest cry is just like, you know, we need to find them a place to ride because right. it's getting big. A lot of companies, are, uh, corporate companies are getting involved because they see right. that it's definitely a lucrative market, but it is getting out of control. Right. We just got to find a different uh, way to go about it. Right. You know, like, you know, the, the higher ups need to just, you know, build a park or just... Right. Have something for these kids to do. Everybody right. doesn't, you know, play football or <laughs> play basketball. So you know, this is I the know. new, this is the new craze. <laughs> right, and now right, when you right. got like big rappers being involved with it, right, and you right. know, people are definitely looking. So then it needs to be an outlet. But as far as like with the OGs and stuff, I right. don't even look right. at myself like that. I, right, I think right. the talent is amazing. Right, right. But you know, at the same time, you know, there is a kind of like a little chain of command. You know, right. what you shouldn't do, what you shouldn't do. Right. It just won't. Taint the taint right. the culture, right? And, and, but you know that that's that's kind of in everything that we do in life. You know, there's going to be people that have been through it, right? And have gone through it and have kind of conquered the problems that they encounter as right. they move along. Mm -hmm. and, and and like I said, even when you're raising children, you know, I mean, at, we get to a certain age and our kids swear they know everything and don't realize we've been here, mm -hmm. we've been through that, and now we just trying to give them something to latch onto so that when they get out there, they know exactly how to either Go handle it, it right. right? You know, and handle it, right? Because you know. You, you you get kids and they they keep making mistakes. I'm like, look, okay, you can right, make right, a mistake. Right. Yeah. If you correct it, it's a mistake. Yeah. If you keep doing it, it's a way of life. Yeah, but the bike riding, that's it, you, there's no mistake. The mistakes on that, the risk is so, it's high. so high. Right, right, like, right. Like you know, the, the risk is so high. Like when I was young, I used to ride dirt bikes. I was 12 and 11. Right. Me and my cousins, right. and getting chased was fun. Right. But you know, my mother never really understood the dynamics of how that was. Like, right. You know, it was just like, you ride it, but you better be careful. Because right. I told her, I was just walking it up the street. As soon as I was out the way, I was right. gone. Like, oh, but, you know, man. it was a thrill. It was right. like, you know, I knew I had the skills, right. even though I knew it was dangerous. But it was like, you know, getting chased to to, to, to go past the crowd and look at the cops chasing right. me and not get away. That was right. the that was our awards. Right. 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 And then, you know, it, it's extremely dangerous. But, you know, the culture is just amazing. You got these kids that's riding now. They ain't even got six months in it. I know. They next level. <laughs> But the scary thing about that is that the kids that ride, you know, it's the skills. Right. Like, I don't, you know, people are not putting enough time in to enhance their fundamental skills right. and then trying to just be the next guy that could wheelie. So right. that's where I just like, you know, I can't tell you not to ride your bike. Right. But, you know, you need to practice more right. on your fundamentals. Don't get hurt, man, because these cops are chasing these kids and they out to kill them. Right. Straight up. And, and, and that's crazy. But and, and, and talking to you over, you know, over time, you know, because you, you like my, you my brother, man. Now you my brother. <laughs> you my brother, too, man. So, and, and the thing is, is we have some nice in-depth conversations. All the and, time. And we talk about things and how you took what you know and you took and put a spin on it. Right. Documentaries. Right, right, You know, right. um, and, and then just food recently. Food drives, yeah. Right, food drives. And right. that's the one thing right. that, l listen, on air, I got to say thank you to all the people that's out there, man. Look, you, when you, when you. A lot of people are afraid of a lot of things. You know, you see something and you don't understand it, you become afraid of it. Right. So, and, and saying that, I'm like, you know, you see a bunch of brothers, they got jackets on and they represent one right, thing. Right, right, and you're right. like, okay, um, you know. Yeah, the first I, thing you think, this is a gang. Right. Like, I don't, I don't right. promote that stuff. I'm not even a part of that. I know. And, 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 and my point that I'm making is that you guys took me in as one of you guys. I never rode a bike in my life. I forgot you went with us when we when we fed the homeless. Right. Yeah, GHB 100 There you day. go. You I was, was there listen, for that. I was there, baby. I <laughs> you was, was there for that. I was, you know, and there. You was there oh, for that one. That man. was the main one. You that, was really oh, there for man. that one. I, I yeah. just, because you called me up. You said, Murph, you know, I, I need you to come to such and such a place. I said, okay. You didn't have to tell me what you was going to do. I was there. 
Then when I realized I had the RV outside. It was nice too. And <laughs> right. let me tell you something. I had the RV. I, I ain't gonna tell you, but I got a clip of that stuff. Yeah, the RV. I got the clip. Yeah, I got yeah. the clip of that. Yeah, I got, we got the RV, that. man. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, we ain't yeah, just yeah, out here yeah, playing man. around, man. And, and wait, not only did we give food, but you clothed them. We gave yeah, out shirts man. and stuff, man. We the dudes just throwing coffee on us, man. They didn't even oh, want the stuff. I know, I know, right? I know. But no, but the but the real the real thing was that, you know, I try to take the rebel. The rebel and the you know these outlaws and these right. gang guys. I try to take that that name off of them right. and have them do positive stuff. Right. You know, even though they're talented and they're whatever they're doing that isn't right in so many people's eyes. Like right. I try to bring the, the you know humanitarian part back right. in them and like, look here, come on, let's go feed the homeless. Like, come on, let's go feed Thanksgiving. This is what Go Hard Boys is about. Right. right you know, right. so if you want to be a part of what I'm doing, I need y'all to do this because it's. Bigger, bigger than, than bikes, bikes, of course. There you go. Man. See? Of course it's bigger than bikes, <laughs> man. man. I'm not on. with any of that, man. Listen, you know? And, and it's like trying to take what people think is a negative, spin it around into a positive. Positive, you Which have was to. already positive. It's just that people, like, they, they they draw their own conclusions about things because of a few. Right. You know? And it kind of I mean, one or two culture. or three, yeah, they, right. will, they will really make it, you know, all... The, you know, and I get it. Right. I understand that. But you know, it's what I'm trying to do. Like right. I think there's a there's a definitely like um like my partner, my brother Wayne from Raise It Up in right, Baltimore. Right, right. Like the Raise It Up stuff, even and they got a phenomenal thing out right. there. Like their bike culture is like their bike culture is is our version of the uh, the African American parade every oh, okay. Sunday. Okay. But theirs is every Sunday. Wow. Ours is once a wow. year. Right, right, so right, right, that right, right. Ride culture is every Sunday right. the whole city of Baltimore right. comes out. But raise it up. Really was created to um to get the guys from stop killing each other. Right. So right. on Sundays you got all these guys that was going to war. They come together. So then when me and Wayne came together, right. like I'm doing the same thing you doing. It was just it was just like brothers. Right. Like, you right. Know? And then right. we we got a little bit more internal. Right. And it was like man, this thing bigger than bikes. We don't. It was, yeah, it's, right. it's so deep now. Like right. I got a key to his house. <laughs> My mother needs stuff. He got right, it. Right, so right, it's just right. like, but we know right. that like you know. We, we we understand what right. we're trying to do. Right. Even though the, the the power up, be like, oh, it's like, look, we're trying to really right. do something positive. Right. You give us an outlet right. because so many people want to be a part right. of what we're doing. Okay. Now, and, and, and touching on something you said about Wayne out in, in Baltimore. Right. It, it, it's, it's one of those things that bike culture has brought people who would normally be warring well, together as a family. You remember New York course, City and Baltimore. Of And that's what the kids don't, like a lot of these kids, you got the, like some of the greatest riders on the planet. You know, are right, coming right, out of that city. Right, like as far right. as they just, you know, New York City, we started that thing, right. and them dudes took that thing and enhanced, and enhanced it. it right. and, and you know, they right. put swag to it, right. they put a uh, an apparel to right, it, you know, right. the dress code, right. and it was cool. But you know, a lot of people need to understand the history. Right. If they understood the history, then they would see like, man, that is kind of cool. Like I could be that cool and right. talk like this or with a, in, or a brother from Baltimore right. because the New York City and Baltimore relationship was. It was t terrible. Right, I know, I know. Was, because it, especially it, back in the drug yeah, days, yeah, it was the drug you know, days. Yeah, it made that, it terrible. Right, right. So sometimes me and Wayne used to laugh and be like, "Yo, look where you at. You know you can be here back in the day." I was like, "Man, shut up." Man. Look, I'm like, so I was like, "I'm always chill, man," because it's the truth. Yeah, and, 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 and like a lot of kids, a lot of young people don't understand it. And and I look at a lot of people that's on the corner selling, you know, the pharmaceutical, and and don't really make the money like back in the days. Back in the days, you could put ten thousand dollars up because you know if you it's this, over, you're gonna get caught up. <laughs> so you're gonna need that bail money. Yeah, they don't think like that. They just want to. Belt in a, a belt car. in a car, right? A belt in the car and stand on the, the chairs in the club, or, or take IG pictures with the Hennessy in their know. hand. Now, my, the the one that drives me, the one that's the one that just uh -huh. really gets me, is when they take the money and put it to their. Oh ear. come on, like you make a phone call with the money. Like come it. on, like, man. I mean, if you ain't got a a, a, a football contract, right, right, right. Rap right. Then with a forget it, right? Put that money. You need be putting that money to your ear. You know but. what? I, I had a friend of mine. He man, I'm gonna tell you, this guy's crazy. He had a shoebox with money all in. So right. I hit him up. I said, I said, why are you doing that? He said, Yo, Murph, you know that's. I just got my income tax. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> He's still stuck. Come on, yeah. dude. Once it's gone, then what? What you going to do? Have but, yeah, like you said, like the bikes have, the bikes created that bond. Right. right. Outside of everything, the wars, the right. bikes created that bond. Right. So that's a cool thing with me and right. Wayne having. Also, shout out to my brother, Quarter T, over there in the West Coast, uh, Bikes Over Banging. Okay. So he's like, we're all, like, it's a few of us that right. are really trying, like Quarter T does, he can go in any hood in California right. and just take the kids Ride and despite of what gang threw right, you right, down with, right. so that's what I'm trying to align right. myself with these type of people without having, you know, the other people do something. Well, those are the leaders. Get them. Right, I'm like, no, right. no, 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 no. I don't. I didn't never tell them to ride over there. Right. I'm promoting this. Right. You know, I can't. If you give me the outlets, if you if you take, I try to like this. I look at it like this: if the city build a park right. in any one of these states, any one of these cities, and you build them a park. Cool. Now they riding their bikes on the street. Now y'all got legs. You ain't right. got no legs to stand. Right, take right. 
Take, right. Yeah, you right. know, take them. You did build them a park. You did give them a you, storage hey, facility. Listen, y'all said if you build it, they will come. But if you build it and they don't come, take them. Right. And it's revenue. Right. It's a right. revenue stream. Right. You know, to go to these motocross parks, it's right. like 350 for the year, right. like $60 for the day. Mm. These kids wear that on, on the Jordans. Right. Oh, of course. And the yeah. belts. Yeah, like you said, I see $300 belts. I'm like, but you got a yeah. $300 belt, but you got no food in the refrigerator. Yeah, these kids will be, I'm telling you, man, these kids will really be at these parks every day. And you know, it's, I'm going to tell you something that people don't know. I'm going to test you real Go ahead. Quick. Do you know who James Bubba Stewart is? No. And that's, 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 that's deep, man. You know, James Bubba Stewart is the first African-American professional motocross racer. Really? People don't even know that. And, and let me tell you something. And, and, and <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm a product of not really getting into stuff that we are used to, that others are used to being right. into. Basketball, we got right. baseball, football. So what do I know about motocross right. See, I grew up? up see, I grew up, I love dirt bikes since right. Evil Knievel. Right. See, my film, the One Dream to Ride documentary right. I'm putting out, is based off how I seen the culture. Okay. So I grew up loving those white dudes with the mullets coming right, out right, the right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, That's right. what I grew up with. Okay. I thought they was the most greatest thing ever. Right. But when the motocross scene came and my mom's moved to Jersey and right. I was able to interact with different kids with right, that, right. it was it was heaven. Right. And then when I went to the city, I got to see the swag and ride on the street. Right. It was Super heaven. Right. But when you when when Bubba Stewart came on the scene, like I was already knee deep into motocross. Okay. So when I seen him, I was like, man, I could have been him. Right. But to see him be the top dog, he was like the Tiger Woods of it. But right. it's sad that people don't know that. Right. Even the African American community, like right. people just don't know that. And Even that's like, my that's my gripe. Right, but like, right. okay, now listen, we got a champion. Right. You know, why are we not building parks? In, in in favor of his name. Right. So you know right. that's that'd be my gripe right. political wise. Right. But, you know, it's like I always get mad every time I go to Philly and I see there's a there's a statue of of um what's his name? Um Rocky and there's no statue of of um my man um what's his name? Fort Muhammad Ali. Oh um, um uh, what's his name? Who? I, I don't feel the, the, see now you don't know. I don't even know. I don't follow the boxing, man. I don't know. You about to I'm about to say Frazier? Yeah, Joe know. Frazier. Oh really? Joe Frazier. He's in Philly. Yeah. All right. No cool. statue of him. But you got fictitious Rocky Balboa statue yeah, Balboa up there. Up on that pissed stairs. me off, man. You yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. understand? Well, you know what? We talked about the um, the feed the homeless. Um, we do have a clip of that. So what I'm gonna do if if the staff is ready for that, we're gonna go to that and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk some more because you did talk about the documentary, right? Right. right. Um, and, and like I said, you you took what you know and you took it and turned it around. Yes, I know about. You know, it. so, so you know what I'm saying? I got you. All right. All right. So let's cool. do this. Let's go to that. My brother Shay is in the building, CEO of GHB Go Hard Boys in the building. Big Murph here. You're watching What's Going On on FRPLive.tv. Get the chat room ready. Get them questions ready so we can uh, throw some, some questions out at us, all right? We'll be right back. Yeah, man. Race need us know we out here, man. GHB. Nobody don't need nothing to drink now. Man. Just feed you. Who they gonna drink from the sky? Yeah. <laughs> GHB, thank you very much. All of New York, baby. We only do it like this uptown. My homie 50 right here, man. Soundview, GHB, all positive stuff what we do. Tell them 50. Man, you already know. Bigger than bite. All the way. I'm giving back to the community, to the people, you know. Thanksgiving, everybody got to eat, man. It's good to have this enjoyable day. You feel what I'm saying? Word up, this is Thanksgiving. And it's always a pleasure to come out here and enjoy with the family. That's what's up. Now, that there that we just saw was just recently, that was this past Thursday, yeah. you know, for Thanksgiving. You guys went out there. And, and you know what? I, I was telling everybody before you got here, I was telling them that, you know, y- y- you guys did that. Uh, I had sort of clip, mm-hmm. and I was like, I was sick. And I also had a lot of family over, so I'm kind now, of I was doing, wondering what was yeah, wrong with you, yeah, man. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was out of it, man. I was so... Because I had just came back from, you know, Hershey. And, and, and let me tell you something. Bruh. It was nice up there right. until it was time to come back. Sunday. Now, I didn't dress for Sunday cold weather. I dressed right. for 60 degrees because I'm going to come out. We're going to get on the bus. I'm going to come back. Bruh, it was about 30 degrees when we got back. I was terrible. Terrible. I was a mess. <laughs> what you had? Oh, man. I had on a little jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, get to New York. It was freezing Sunday. Right, right, right. You know, so I, I was caught up with that and then also had to get ready for, because I had a lot of family coming in. 
for the holiday. So, mm-hmm. you know, and then, you know, and then when I saw the picture, I said, oh, man. Now we did know. it. It was cool. It started raining. Uh, yeah, you, you tell me despite the, the rain. Raining. I, I know. I heard care, you say man. that. I just want to get out there. Uh, of it course. don't matter. Let's get out Listen, there. Listen, people got to eat. Yeah, and let me cool. tell you something. Do you go to the store when it's raining? When you're hungry, you go to the store, right? It's it could a, be snowing, it could be a blizzard, it could be a, a tornado somewhere. You're going to the store to get some food. Yeah, nah, but it's cool. Like you know, I just you know, I be on those dudes' case, those GAB. I, I be I, on they. I was on. I was on. I was listen. I was in the van when you, when you, when you're getting on them. It's like okay, we go because you have they those my speech. little brothers. Yeah, you gave nah, them speech. You know? I can't be their fathers, but they yeah. my little brothers. Right, right, I right, right. right. Yeah, right. <laughs> they my little brothers though. So I no disrespect to all right, their parents, all right, right, right. but not. And that's right. the cool thing about it. Like a few of them jokers, they be like, they be like, man, like, but I be on their case about right. something positive, right? Nothing right. negative, right. you know? Like, yo, you supposed to be here, right? 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 I need you to be here, right? Feeding these kids, I right. need you to be here and doing this. It's positive, right? You know, I just don't want people to look at them. Oh, he's a rebel. He's a rebel. Right. I want the one, two, or three of the old ladies from the hood. Be like, but one thing about them boys, you uh, know, yeah, they all, they, they all, they they look, right? This. And that's the point I'm trying to right, make. Right, that's right, all. right. Ain't nothing negative. Right. You got to give back. That's all. And, and that's what it's all about. And 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 I seen that, and I'm like, so what I did was firsthand go in and talk to to you guys, and 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 watch you how you interact with the community. Right. You know, which is real important because you know we, we didn't grow up with silver spoons in our mouth. But we have an opportunity because of the platform that we are on right. to be able to do things for others. And I and that's why I built the show. Like I've been doing it for over 30 years. Right. And I said, nobody told me to start this show. But what I did was I said, I see a lot of our talented people out there that have no platform. You can't go to Channel 2. You can't go to Channel You can't go to none of these shows. So what we do is we build something for our community to be able to say, I'm going to show you what it is that I have. Whether it's a talent and doing something singing, whether it's something else, like you said, riding bikes, BMX, all that kind of stuff. Or documentary makers, you know, stuff like that. And like I said, you took a spin on what you learned, what you know, and and the culture, and say, you know what? I need to teach people about this culture by doing a documentary and letting them know exactly what it is this bike life is. Is yeah. you know, that, yo, that film stuff. Let me tell you, man. Um, four year, four and a half years. We're almost done now. The film is complete, and um, a hell of a journey. Like people were just like, oh, when the film coming out? When the film coming out? And I hooked up with this uh, uh, one of the producers and directors of the film, Ed Harris. Like, and he just became my brother. You know, and I just showed him a clip of something, right. and he was like, "Man, you know you can get an award for this." I'm like, "An award? Right. I ain't never think this far." You know, right, I just right. want to put together a right. catalog of different videos and stuff, and then it turned into like, "Yo, you can do a documentary." Right, right, right. So what I did do was, um, I studied, I studied Netflix. Right. Okay. So because I, I like documentaries, right. period. So I okay. just studied them, studied them. So now when I'm around these film gurus, I knew how to have some type of knowledge or right. some type of terminology right, right, talking right, about right. films right. and I just got hooked on it so then as time progressed I just got savvy I knew my camera stuff I knew the you know the, the different cuts what I needed what right. made it feel good what's gonna make people cry right, right. like I even got bets going on right now for my film that like I guarantee you with this part come on your eyes gonna yeah, cry, right? because that's what I'm taking the film right. and the film is not based off some vo- culture vulture right, right. just coming in and go yeah this is what the sport is and right. no 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 it's how I seen the culture right. for thirty something years. Like I thought, evil Knievel was the right. You know, I don't care about the skin color. Right, you know, right, we right. Ride right. bikes, we cool. We cool, right? My mother right. used to come home and be like, "Man, you got these crazy white boys in my driveway." <laughs> like, yo, these is my friends. So I don't know how to right. do that racial right. thing. Right, right. You know, when it when it when it presents itself, right. I present itself back. Right. Like right. just on right. social media, you see right. several times. Right. They'll get on there and go with the end thing. Right. And I'll just add in their favorite. Professional rider. Right. Man, you see how this dude's talking? And they're right. like, wow, I didn't. Like, yeah, you did all that for nothing. Right. So, you know, with the film, four and a half years in the making, um, uh, gained some friends, lost right. some friends. Right. Making this film. Of like, course. Of I course. mean, it's I didn't think that was gonna happen, right. but um, it's cool. Like right. it, it's cool. But um, I definitely, definitely had an opportunity to tap into the culture and paint a real good picture. But the blessing was um like at the end part because I dealt with so many corporate corporate crap mm-hmm. and this and this and that I didn't want to sell my soul right and um when the, uh when when me and Fetty just hooked up right. like people just you know they didn't they'll never understand our relationship right, he's right. really like my little brother right. but um he was like yo I was like yo you just want to be the executive producer of my film I feel more safe <laughs> he was like I don't care like what you <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, right. All right, let's do it. Let's, right. let's do I it. I feel more right. comfortable. You know, it was right. like Murph here. Yeah. Right. I'll do an interview with you right. over doing it with certain people. Right. And man, I got an interview that nobody got. So mm. it's like when y'all hear what he's talking about, <laughs> you'll be like, man, I look fed. Right, you know, right, like, right, you know, right. People right. see stuff they don't right. really know, but um, right. uh, only thing I can just say about him is, right. you know, that's just my little brother. Right, he right, right. He's just a, a mega star, but outside of that, he just family. He like. 
like a brother. That's right. it. And that's what I tell people. I said, you know, when 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 I called you, I said, I need you to do the show. You know, and I said, you know, you have the option. If you want to, you can bring yeah, Fatty. Yeah, like, I, I could said, bring but, him or not. But right, I'm like, right. look, I'm saying, this is about the culture. Yeah, this is yeah, about yeah. you. If you brought him, fine. If you didn't, we, right, we, right, we brought, right, it don't right, make a difference yeah. to me. But like you said, you said, Murph, let me tell you something. People will call you up to do things on the strength yo, of that. I'm not that boy's road manager. Right. Murph. They think they'd be like, yo, can I get him? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> listen. That you know he one time we was in um we was in Nebraska uh-huh. we late night riding because right. he that's his thing he right. wanna ride he, right. that's his therapy so we riding late night before we go to bed and we was in the, I remember we was in the truck I remember he said to me he was like yo bro the crazy thing is that my friends can't afford me so when I do something for him I do it because out of love right I registered that from that day right so anything the kid does. You understand, you know, the, the price they pay for him to do right. songs and walk through clubs. Them numbers is phenomenal. I, I could imagine. So I just be like, when my friends tell me about it, I'd be like, oh, like, I don't <laughs> have them conversations right, with them. Right. Now, if it's talking about a bike, man, right. you might can come over to the house. Right, right. And we can have, and a, we have a talk. Right. There but you go. Other than that, right. I don't, and that's what I'm saying. I don't do all that. And, and that's why, that's I why people, when you was like, I right. was like, Murph, like, huh? I mean, I'll bring them, but right. it ain't no big deal. Like, hey, that's, you know, and that's what I told you, you know, and, 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 and like I said, you know, we had the conversation, you know, you'll come on the show and, and, and I mean, just for the love because we, we family. Right. But, you know, to, to do that star power gazing, it's not, yeah. not it's something we're not I into. I don't rub you, with a lot listen, of stars. Hey, thank you. Know. So have thank you. You, you know, and it's like, no why? Difference. Right. Yeah, you know, because the story's not going to come from them. Nah. You know, you see these people every day on TV, you hear them on the radio, but they're not going to tell you the story they yeah, want to tell you. I'm not doing that, You know? You'll tell a story. You oh know? yeah, like I like I'd rather like honestly, like I did Vice TV, right? And I did another interview, and I did yours. Right. I just don't really like very particular. I'm not right. a camera. Like I don't like. Yeah, all I, that, I know, I know. That. That's why I, I appreciate like you coming that. down no, here. Like you like Murph? That. You know, uh, see, like, uh, see. No, what but happened I told was, you, I said right. Murph, take the filters off. It's all right. good. You can right. ask me whatever, right. because it's, it's the comfortability. Like, right. You know, a lot of people don't really understand like my mindset. Right. You know, oh, he's a, he's an A and E. I'm right. like, man, I'm cool as hell if you just get to meet just me. Just get, and, and, listen. you know what I'm saying? But don't come with a rumor I heard. Right, right, just right, like, right, right. Yo, right. just pull up. Like, the, ask look, me to. I'm gonna ask tell me to go. Right, and that's why I say, you know, and like, uh, let me tell you something. I'm brutally honest with people. Mm-hmm. Now, like, one of my, my my family, my man, loaded Lux. That's like that's like family. That's my boy. Yeah, right. Lux. Man, come on. Okay. Anyway, that's another, oh, another story. story. That's right, another right, story. Right, right, right. Anyway, he was like, Yo, unk. I'm like, What? He said, Yo, I need a manager. I said, Let me tell you something, Lux. Let me tell you what I don't like. I don't like four o'clock calls and and, and say, oh, I need you at the studio because then you'll hear my friend click. Right. I'm like, I, I I can't. I love you. Right. Don't make me unlove you. Right. You know because your attitude and doing what you think is right and my mm-hmm. idea of what's right may clash, may clash and it'll cause us to have a conflict. Right. I don't want to do that. Right. I'm gonna love you like I love you. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll support what you do, but I'm not managing nobody. Right. You know, that's just it. You know. Right. But again, you know, it, it, talking about the documentary. Uh, what we're gonna do is let, let's go to a clip. You know, um, um, Pete, if you got the clip, the nine minute clip of the um, when we fed the homeless. If you got that, we could throw that up there. And then when we come back and talk, and then we can talk about the documentary that you got. You know, that you you you, you promote right take now. Take the filters off. Though. Yeah, we're gonna take it, off. Take we gonna take it off. We're gonna take it off. We're gonna take it off. So we'll be back, Pete. You got that lined up for us? It's what's going on. My man Shay is in the building. I'm here. Y'all come back. Don't worry. Chat room. We're gonna get back to you. We're gonna get to you. As a matter of fact, get them questions ready. And 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 like I said, y'all can take the filters off too. Ask some questions. Yeah, we'll be right back. Right, you cool. know? Right. <laughs> My number is good. Right now I'm sitting on four. Well, I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. I got ten. Where you at, right? Yeah, I think I'm a little short. I got one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, short. How? Short. You know, uh, and where you at? Got about 14 here. So you gotta compensate her. Right, I'll get that. I'll get that for you. Oh, yeah, so good. I got 45 over here. That'll probably take care of take care the fire you're missing. Alright, so you got Did me. y'all lock the door? Everything. Yo, everything's secure. So let's pack up. Let's pack up. Alright, yo, let's get it. Yo, make sure everything that calls here and everything, yo. Alright, yes. Alright, let's go. Make sure you go. Make sure I don't come apart. Alright? Check the door. Door is locked. Door is locked. Got to hurry up. Pack it 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 up. They say I go hard Fellas, look, we're getting ready to put this together.
together. I hope everybody got their stuff together and ready. Rocky, what's up with you? You ready for it? Ready. No need. Rocky, loaded. Will. That's P, what's up? I'm never sure. Yo, Dane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty, I know you got that situated. Yeah, All right, so yo, fellas, look, let's go in there. Let's attack every situation we possibly can. We ain't leaving nothing out. So we just getting with anybody, whoever wanted, we ain't leaving nothing out. That's agreed? All right, say no more, let's go. So no matter what they say, I go hard. And we think it's over. But it's never over. So 
I wrote ah. the rhymes, the dark and bold, never had no love, so I hung on crack, love the streets, just teach them back. As you can see, it's bigger than bikes. There's so many. In this country, it shouldn't be where, you know, we have to take it upon ourselves to make sure that people don't go home hungry or, or not have enough, you know, clothes on to keep themselves warm. But, you know, it, we're supposed to be able to enhance that and not be the ones that be leading the, you know, the, the march or the charge to that. Right. But because of the way it is, took the lead and said, look, we got to do this, cool. man. GHB 100. The kid that was 20? Yeah, that was, oh, was 20, man. I was like, I was lost when I, I seen know. him. I know. I don't know, man. I, I can't save the world, but I'm just trying to do something positive. One person That's at a time, man. One person at a time. Nothing. You know, and, and, and like I said, you know, touching on a documentary that you got going on, and also, you know, like you said, your little brother, Fetty, you know, talk about him, and, and you know, because everybody here, Fetty, is like music, 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 don't know the other side of him, the bigger love that he has, if it is bigger than his music, yeah. is it, bikes. Yeah, man, it's something different like, <laughs> it's a, it's it, it's a little political right but i understand because of the magnitude of where he's at in his career right but like that dude just found his niche right i mean he this is his talent like some people play basketball right man he found like we was just talking the other day he was like yo man i just want to thank you for um on thanksgiving he sent the right. text like, i just want to thank you you know you and wayne y'all for just um fulfilling my childhood dream right right to just be able to ride bikes and be able to do a wheelie from one he had a, a goal like, man, i just want to do a wheelie from one place to another like he told right, me right, what right, right, he wanted to, right. man that dude surpassed that really but you know it was a gift like you know I, he's a great kid and all that but the music stuff i don't have no conversations right i right. was in the studio on like one time and i watched him arrange their song right and i was like nah he's really super talented right like, right, right. No, like okay this I'm is not a fluke. Yeah. like right, he right. really knows what he's doing right he really could play the piano right. he really could play the drums but nice, nice. the music side we don't really because right, it's what right. it is but the bike thing like i'm a bike junkie Right. I'm addicted to bikes, and he is one of them. They, those people like us are rare. Right. Like some, there's a lot of bike junkies and a lot of people who are weekend warriors. Right. That dude is a bike junkie, junkie <laughs> of bikes. Like he right. just random. Like it gets to the point. Like yo, I know you're gonna be mad at me, but I just 
Like, why would you buy that? And I was bored. I needed to get something in. They have right. nothing at this where I'm at right now. Right. And he rides now, like he rides now on a, on a, on a, on a scale where it's like there's no concern. Like if he falls, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yo, how'd you do that? Right. Like you were so retarded for that. Like why? That was a stupid move to fall on. I mean, the confidence is there, you know. So right. it's like, um, it's kind of cool. But like his heart, right? As far as he got a heart of a lion, like you know, he don't, you know, he had an accident which wasn't his fault and. He just enhanced his skills now, so I, he's past that. Right. But you know the things that where he wants to take the bike culture, since we've instilled it, is like, if I told you, you'd be like, nah, you serious? I'd be like, nah, I'm serious. Like that's what he's planning on doing. So it's it's a blessing, and it's it's not a culture vulture thing. It's just amazing to have someone that um that really believes in the vision and believes in it because he loves the sport. Like right. he loves the camaraderie. You know, he loves that, yo, like this person and that person. Like, even when he be in Baltimore, like, <laughs> this you could drive up the street, the dude be on the porch at Wayne House. Like, mm -hmm. people just like, is that really? <laughs> like, <laughs> they would walk like, past him like, nah. yeah, like he want to go to the store. Right, like, right. He was like, yo, I want to go to the store. Wayne took him to the store. And like, he just get out the car, walk in the store. People just be like, I wonder if that was. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, yeah, but like, that, and that's the that's the cool thing right, about it. Right, right. He's like really a regular dude. Right. Just a. Uh, Right, just uh, right. Just a little you know, he's up there, yeah. Game, but he's you know. really a regular dude. Right. But um, I don't know, man. The right. dude is biked out. I love it. Right. I mean, uh, he picked up fast, faster than what we all expected. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like, dude got like forty bikes. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, like just like, right. yo, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, like yo, I had to get enough. I'm like, and he'll just give them away. I'm like yo, like yo, like what happened to the bike? Oh, I gave it to the kid down the block. <laughs> I'm like, yo, the little boy's probably 14. Like, he just gave him a seven thousand dollar bike. But I mean, that's just who he is, though. You know what I'm saying? It, and, and and that comes from a harder goal and actually knowing that you know you're in a position. Like I said, we talked about it in a position to help somebody. Right, right. You're not right. gonna ride 40 bikes. Nah. You know. It, it was the crazy thing is like the professional dudes, right. like my friends that ride X Games. Uh -huh. Like they'd be like, yo, you in Cali, man? Bring Fetty to the house. And he'd be like, yo, I gotta take the phone and go. All right, this is such and such. He won the gold. Right, right. This is such and such. He'd be like. I, I mean, you know, I, like, he don't even know. It's <laughs> right, kind of right, like they right. really know about you. Right. You know what I'm saying? They really know about you. So it's it's kind of cool to have a a, a a artist that big right. that loves the culture and it can take the culture a lot further. Right. Too, it, that, you know? That's the cool thing right. about it. But other than that, though, um, it's just another person down go. Oh, boys, there you that's go. It. There like, you go. You know. And, and, and speaking about another person, you know, um, you had a whole lot of other persons because you guys put together for the first time. I think the first annual bike awards at the symphony space yeah well that let me tell you let me break it down yeah break it me. down break it down to me because like I, it was like a, it was like a hell of an idea right like man you know it was a hell of an idea and then i, I was talking to fetty about it and fetty was like yo i'm gonna put together a team right i'm gonna put together a team and put them in your lap we're just gonna do it right and i'm like all right and i was like because he knows like i don't really want to talk to people about right, ideas right, right, and right. stuff like that and um, it was kind of cool because these people that helped structure it, uh -huh. like, you know, they really knew um, how to do awards. Right. But they didn't know the culture. You know what I'm saying? So we had a room full of culture and then the professionals who know how to do awards. So people right. was like, man, I know. I'm like, dude, we just was giving them the concepts. <laughs> like, we didn't have nothing to do with it. They came out with a... a a voting system right. and all of this stuff and you know I would go back to the table with you know me and Wayne and he had four dudes on his on his side and I had three on my side and we just was analyzing analyzing then I get calls from super OGs over right, me right. and they was like yo you need to do this so it was really like a panel of people who knew the culture right. and we just handed it to the the people who know how to structure a show right and put our culture on a platform so when people you see that's the problem people trip and it's like man listen you know we got our own bike awards we didn't wait for monster or right, right. mountain dew right, or no. right. you know we did it first right? right like we did the bike awards so we got our own soul train awards we started it so you know if people have the mindset of like we own that right then it's kind of cool right. you know but you know how you know sometimes yeah, it's yeah. the egos yeah. getting, and it's yeah. fine i mean everybody's not gonna like you know what you do or you know because they didn't think of it first and it's right, cool right. you know i'm all about just like yo how can we get together right what can we do to get together? And then that's like pulling teeth. So, right. you know, after a while, you just like, all right, well, I got a great idea for 2017. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> and then you don't get feedback. You're like, all right, right, right. I'm going to do it now. You right. double sure? Right. Then when it's done, they be like, you know, people like, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Why ain't they like, first? Right. love, yeah. man. If, you come to, if we right. come together, right. it will be love. Right. But, you know, it just it takes time. 
you know, the, the, the sad thing that really, that, that I'm afraid of is that when the outsiders come and the culture vultures, then people jump. Like, guess who's in town? They, they're here and they gave me a hoodie and two pairs right, of sneakers right, and right. gave my mother rent. Right. I'm rolling with them. You'd be like, boy. Let, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's go to, let's go to um, the documentary. Um, that clip that you sent me about the documentary. Let's go to that real quick and come back and, and, and let's see if we got... We going to have time for the chat room? We'll, we'll, we'll make time, right? <laughs> we'll make time. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's take a break. Go to the documentary and then we'll come back and talk some more. And uh, we, we should have time for the chat room. So hang in there, guys. All right? We'll be right back. Kid, I always loved Mozart. All my life, as far as I can remember. I even remember Evil Knievel. He used to wear the cape. He was my hero. Didn't even care what color he was. Uh, now, see the dirt bike culture in the inner city. Some of the baddest dudes who have no outlets to show their talent. I got a dream. My dream is to do more for them. My dream is to have one dream to ride and to ride with them. Look, you know, when I was growing up in Harlem, you know, dirt bikes were an essential part of the culture. You know two things mean summer's coming. When you hear boom, 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 boom
marry, divorce, and you still got a 1982 bike? You just you can't, you can't, you just can't leave your bike. Once you strung out, you strung out. Sky Chopper 13 shows you recent walker weather has riders out in Fort. It's illegal in the city just to own a dirt bike that's not been disabled. The packs of dirt bike operators that are literally terrorizing neighborhoods that are running across the city, running across the city, running across the city, running across the city. I, I'm still, I'm, I'm dizzy right now. I'm like, I'm, Wait, I was riding. I was, di- I'm ready to get a bike <laughs> and, and put it in the closet. <laughs> I, I think my riding days are, I, you know, you got slow bikes that if you get on it, it control the speed for me. Cause yeah, and I, I, I don't, don't look at me like that. Cause you're like, yeah, we got one. Got Press one the button, yeah. 100 miles an hour. I'll be yeah. doing a wheelie without trying to do a wheelie. You got it. You know, um, we, 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 we kind of press for time, but I, I do want to take questions from the chat room and you got to come back and do a part two. No because part two is going to be unfiltered. We're going to talk about pack riding. We're going to talk about all the things that he want to talk about. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take the filter off. Today, we just got a little introductory as to what he do. So the next one is no holes barred. Not holes, hold. Yeah. If I said it right? Oh, yeah, no holes, you said no it holes right, barred. Yeah. <laughs> right? Somebody will text you and tell <laughs> you. Yo, Mark, what did you say? <laughs> but anyway, we, we got the chat room up. Yeah, hey, guys. Hey, what's going on? All right. Um, so yeah, well, there's a few questions here in the chat room. Um, Ruby wants to know, uh, what, what is, have you experienced any, uh, terrible accidents while riding? Yeah. Yeah. Classic ones. Um, <clears throat> I broke my neck in 2000. I broke my neck in 2000 and I broke my leg in high school, like 10th grade. But the neck one was the, like the craziest one. Cause I went numb from here to the center of my chest and my fingertips went, um, numb. But I stood up. I was. I knew something was wrong. Right, right. And my crazy friends was like, "You, you, are the leader. You still got to finish riding." I'm like, "Dude, like, I can't even." Like, I'm like, like "Yo, my, my, I cannot right. feel nothing right, right now." And they kickstart the bike. Right. They pushed my handlebars back forward and made me ride back to the truck. Wow. And I was finished. Shh. And the doctor was like, "Whatever helmet you had on, live by it." So Ruby. Yeah. There you go. Had a major Next accident. And leg. Mm-hmm. Next one. Okay. Uh, we have a statement from Mac. Uh, Mac says, bike life, in all caps, <laughs> bike life actually brings people together. True. Yeah, it, it True. does. It, it, the, I, I made that slogan of bikes bring bonds, not beefs. Right. Just like it's bigger than bikes. And it's the truth, though. Because like, all of my life, I'm not, like, there's a, so much Instagram wars and right. wars. And I'm like, man, I don't remember doing that growing up. So it's just the egos. It's right. nothing right. major. Right. Right. No one slept with your girl, and right. then now I hate them because you rode right. your bike. It's just the egos. Like, everybody's the... Right. And it's, it's an ego thing, but they really... Bikes really do bring, bring bonds. Anything right. else they're doing, I don't know. It's, that's, you know, listen, you know. I don't know. Any more? Yeah. Uh, there's a question from Fam. Fam wants to know, in your opinion, what makes a dirt bike a good a good bike, a good motorcycle? Um, The dirt bikes is the thrill. It's like the thrill. It's the excitement. It's fast and dangerous and the sound. Like you just saw. It's the thrill. Yeah. It's the thrill. It is not, I mean, there's tons of motorcycles, but it's just that dirt bike. It's just that thrill and it's like the sound and, and it's kind of cool. Like it's, it's the thrill. You get the girls, you know? Like, yeah. You can get the girls now. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, like the bike boys get the girls. I ain't never seen it's that. Like, it's like all the singers get the girls. Now it's the bike yeah. boys that get the girls, I ain't man. even see that. Like me and Wayne be laughing. I'm like, yo, y'all got bike groupies. Right. I ain't never seen that before in my life. That's crazy. So, yeah, the bikes is the cool thing, for real. There's your answer. All right. And uh, we take uh, one more here. Uh says uh, from Motivator. That's his name, Motivator. He says, "What, what, what is the craziest thing you ever did on your bike?" Tuh. Oh man, I don't know. I don't even the, put it in which, the closet now. <laughs> they, I, oh, the craziest, uh, the craziest thing, thing you ever, ever did on, did on my bike. Yeah. Um, I, I know. I did this one time. I took the bike, and I told my mother when I got, I was young. I was like, I get the bike I wanted in my room for Christmas. Right. And um, they put the bike on. I woke up. The bike was in the room. I rolled the bike down the stairs in the house. And it got out of control, and I broke the uh, the uh, the uh, the living room table, <laughs> and covered it with a with a tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> Co- 
covered it with a tablecloth. <laughs> yes. What happened? What happened when mom found out? She just she whipped me. You know the usual. Uh, beans, okay, beans okay. Were getting bitter. It's yeah. normal, but you yeah. Know. But nah, she just told me don't ride it for. Yeah, a don't while. ride that bike in there. Still no rode it when she went to work. It See, matter. there you go. And that's how you got. I used to school. ride in my in the in the rec room of the house. Okay. My mother would come home from work and be like. You had the bike on in the garage? I'd be like, yeah. No, you had it on in the in the in the the, the den. That's it. You can't rock this weekend. <laughs> so yeah, it did some crazy stuff. Hey, let, me, let me take this time out to say thanks to, to everybody in the chat room who um who participated. You know, like we said, each and every week we have the, the chat room live. I, I gotta get Shay to come back to do a part two. We're gonna unfilter him. We're gonna talk about a lot of things because like in and even that was mentioned by the Baltimore, I guess the police when they you, you showed that clip in right. the um in the documentary. And they were talking about pack riding. Right, right, right. You know, right, that's something right. I definitely want to talk yeah, about because yeah, yeah. a lot of that seems to be it's getting a concern. Bigger. Right. It's getting bigger. Right. But, you know, I want people to know, like, we're not a gang. Like, Go right. Hard Boys is not a gang. Right. Raise It Up is not a gang. Right. Bikes Over Banging is not right. a gang. It's so many cool crews. Right. It's not a gang. Like, I don't uh, affiliate myself with right. that stuff. I mean, I, I know the kids is involved, but it's like, yo, come on, you get down with me, man. We ain't got to do that. Yeah, uh, do me a favor and, and tell me your website because, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can go to the website. Yeah. It's www.gohardboys with a Z. Dot com and um that that the, all the cool stuff. Okay, and, and wait, and you got the YouTube page too. Yeah, the, the YouTube, YouTube is the YouTube is Go Hard Boys as well. Right. So it's a Go Hard Boys U, um YouTube page, but the um and the go the website has the YouTube video oh, okay, on it. So it's gotcha. Go Hard Boys okay. with the Z dot com. You can right. go in there and um whatever. We're trying to fix the apparel. Right. People okay. be um, the apparel. Yeah. You gotta fix it. So okay. me and Fetty and a few people were okay. talking. Oh, we gotta fix the okay. apparel. I'm so sorry for y'all late. Uh, apparel. <laughs> Everybody I send late, I gotta send them an extra hat. Oh, so I man. apologize, but I'm trying right, to keep right, it fresh. Right, though. I'm right, trying right. to keep it fresh. Now, I'll blame on, it on Wayne. Yeah, come out to some of the events, man. And probably <laughs> yeah. give away some t-shirts and stuff yeah, to do you stuff, guys. Man. We got some stuff coming up, man. Some yeah, major stuff. Yeah, tell me real quick some of the stuff that is it on the website at all? Um, nah, we don't like the stuff that the, the website is getting right. done over. Okay. but we're about to do some crazy stuff. 2017. Okay. That's right. gonna be uh, dope. Okay, so and legit, you you okay? That, that's the that's the key word, legit. Right. No looking over your shoulders. Here's the thing, you know. Before 2017 hits, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you come back before the holidays Let's are do out. It. Okay, have you come back for we part two? No, the no filter. Uh, we did no filter. The no you filter right? Show? No filter. Right, cool. It's the no filter. Shay, CEO of the Go Hard Boys, GHB in the building. So it's gonna be unfiltered. We're gonna talk a lot of that stuff. Yeah. You know, it's sugar honey iced tea. So will I be able to make it to the car when I leave? Yeah, you'll be able to. Right, cool, right, cool. be... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to say thanks to everybody that tuned in this week. Uh, it's what's going on. I'm here each and every week, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, like I said, you know, keep tuning in and uh, get in the chat room, get the questions ready. You never know who I'm going to have on the show. I promise you, I'm going to bring Shay Unfiltered. That's going to be the new slogan Shay Unfiltered. We're going to get some I'm shirts like that. I'm bringing you a surprise, too. Okay, ooh, bet. I'm bringing you a surprise. All right, bet. All right. I'm bringing you a surprise. So let's do we'll that. bring y'all a surprise. All right, and, and you know what? Keep following me, and, and I'll tell you exactly when that did, because we post up when we do right, events, right, so right, right, right. it's going to be up there. It's going to be it's gonna be titled Shay Uncensored, right, right. Unfiltered, however you want to call it. That's how it's going to go down. But check me out um, on Instagram. It's Big Murph 1070. I think it's 1075. I don't even know my own stuff. And you got to get it. Yeah, I got to get it. You don't it, even yeah. do I, I know, and I haven't had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, frplive.tv. And I'm going to tell you something. If you missed the show, it's going to be up um, not too long after this. Maybe tomorrow it'll be up um, so you can get a chance to watch it all over again. And uh, whatever you miss, you'll get to see over. But like I said, the things that you didn't see, we're going to do on the Unfiltered Show when we have Shay come up here the next time, right? Definitely. GHB, go hard, boys. Bigger, bigger than, than bikes. Bike. Shay in the building, my brother. Love you, man. Yeah. All right. And Love um me too. Come back next week right here on What's Going On. But welcome to What's Going On live. And I got to tell you all, it is a beautiful feeling to be live, to be coming to you guys. So this is live. Now, like I said, my first week, I had my special guest. I had my brother, Joe Subo, was in the building. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I'm not worthy. Cut it out. I'm not worthy. <laughs> You're working on some newer stuff. You got some stuff coming up. And I know you want to get that out there to the people. I hear the chat room, first of all, is crowded. Yeah, well, and you are going to talk to them. Yeah, look, look. They're in the building. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's happening, man? Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 buddy. Hello. <laughs> no, that's a great looking TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get that out.
But after being there for two, three days, oh man, the best pizza I had in the world was really? in Afghanistan. So race pizza is definitely off the Oh game. man, no that Afghanistan pizza <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you.